it's much better to experience things than do nothing. Um, this may sound a little bit strange, but over the years, I know many people have talked themselves out of doing things that they should have done. Um, some of these have been quite, I don't really want to get into it too much, but some people have died before they really experienced anything outside their own little bubble, even though I've sort of like tried and pushed them. Um, were they happy? Some were, some weren't. You know, at the end of the day, the relevance, though, is actually experiencing new things. Today I was talking about the fact that I want to ride across India on a motorbike uh, with a good friend of mine. Um, and that will happen. That's, that's the thing with me. I, I say, oh, it will happen, it will happen. Um, but even today we had some issues relating to April's mother's documentation, because now there's a problem with the marriage certificate. I think some of these people have just been twats in the UK, uh, in, sorry, not in the UK, in the Philippines. Because um, it blocks the pas passport getting done. Um, and I, one of the things that, I'll say this just as it is, I think the worst people on Filipinos are Filipinos. Um, whether they're Filipino workers in other embassies, or Filipinos like this, where they're actually blocking my mother and law being able to come to Spain. Um, the worst culprits for doing this to Filipinos is Filipinos. There's no getting away from it. And I do hope the Turkey kicks some of these people off the backside. I think they, they're too much like a little tin gold. Um, but anyway, moving past that. I do think you need to experience new things when you can. I do think it's important to do things that take you outside your comfort zone because you can see other options. It's also worth doing things that are pushed upon you. Like, for example, if you're not happy at work, look for other options. Do something about it. Don't just accept it. You need to turn around and accept that you are worth something. You are important. You have people that appreciate you, respect you, etc. And they're not always around you. Often companies don't do it. I know myself from the corporate world, although I respect a lot of people and a lot of my colleagues will say that I get a lot of respect off engineers and things, I know for a fact that the same people would actually hate them. You know, the engineers would actually hate them because the mentality is often very different. I come from being an engineer, so I understand what it's like to be an engineer. I also was the fact these people are trained, skilled, and know what they're doing, and often have degrees better than their own managers, they often are a little uh, team gods. Um, so for me, a lot of the stuff in life is about experiencing new things, doing new things, finding new things, learning new things. But you constantly need to be pushing yourself, because nobody's going to give it to you. You've got to go and get it. You, like going across India, it's on my list. It will happen. It's not a case of, oh, well, that will never happen. It's a case it will happen. Um, and when it does, I know some people are going, well, never happen. Um, you're quite welcome to your hat. Um, but you've got to understand right now, for me, the important thing is get my mother over, mother-in-law over on holiday. Um, it's important to me and I'm going to take it to another level. Um, I'm not really going to talk about it on YouTube, but I will be aggressively trying to make this happen. Um, and that, I suppose, gets on to one of the main points, is don't accept no as an answer. If you want to do something, you make it happen. If you want to experience something, you, you make it happen. Um, I've done some stuff in my life which I've, I loved, which was outside my comfort, comfort zone. Um, I've flown light aircraft. I've flown fixed wing. I've, done, I've done, flown, well, I've flown, flown helicopters. I've flown uh, Piper aircraft and Cessnas. Um, I've done loop the loops and things like that. Um, I'm trying to think who did, one of, one of my relatives did the wing walk as well. It, They've done the hot air. My dad did the hot air balloon and all that sort of stuff. But the point is, 
pushing yourself into these new experiences opens a whole new world to you because you may have a fear of height, you may have a fear of uh, falling, you may have a fear of water, or you know, so going diving with sharks or something. But ultimately, taking on these experiences are once in a lifetime. There are things you remember because it gets the adrenaline pumping, it's exciting, it's new, it's fresh. But in the same way, completing a course in something when other people would think you would never get there, that is also just as important because having your degree or something when you left school originally with no qualifications, it's important. It's important to you doing this stuff. And it doesn't matter if you ever use it or not. The point is, if that's important to you, just do it. That it's about the experience. It's about the um, the reward from achieving this stuff. And it's very, very important to recognize your self-worth. It's also important to show, you know, not not in a glaring way, but simply turn around and say, I've done that. Um, for yourself. It's not about other people. For me, I couldn't care what other people think about the stuff I do, you know. Um... Because I mean, like, we fly aircraft and stuff. There's no videos or stuff on it. There was, there was originally years ago, but there's nothing recent. Um, but the point being is, I love that stuff. Driving a NASCAR car, it's amazing stuff. And you can do that in the US. You can actually go and drive a NASCAR car for the afternoon. In the same way, you can drive a Formula One car in the UK. And I know some of these experiences are quite expensive, but. At the same time, it's once in a lifetime. Do it. If that's what you want to do, do it. And do some stuff that doesn't normally fit into your stuff you like. Um, like I say, if you don't like flying, um, try flying a light aircraft. Because it, it's, it's, it's an experience. I loved it. I loved it. I mean, I, I went up in aerobatics and did aerobatics with my instructor. Um, I loved it. To the point... I started booking my next lesson as soon as I finished. Um, but you've only got one life. You've got to do this stuff. It doesn't matter what it is. If you if you lack the like public speaking ability, start with YouTube. Go and join the the local um, acting group or whatever. Because always looking for people. The point being is you can turn around and take some of the stuff that holds you back in life and turn around and focus yourself on making an achievement. Um, because once you're in the acting and going on the stage and stuff and you have a problem with public speaking, you're forcing yourself to change your entire viewpoint on all that because you're now in a scenario where you're now an actor or an actress or something, doing something completely out of your comfort zone and at the same time, loving it. Because by the time you will do it, because once you get past the initial, oh, why am I doing this? Um, and start enjoying the experience, your fears become, I suppose they, they become part of your celebration, your, your, um, your ability, because you've changed it. You've gone from not being confident speaking to getting up there and acting in, a, in front of a, an audience of 400 people or whatever. There's nothing to stop you doing this stuff. But at the same time, if you're not good at it, just get on with it. I mean, I've got to admit, one of the things I'm not very good at is dancing. Um, and I'm very tempted to start doing it while I'm here in Spain because guess what? There's a lot of old women out here with not a lot of many male dancers. So, uh, um, sorry, not old women, um, women of an older generation, or I don't even know how to say it in a polite way, I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, but there certainly was looking for dance partners and my two left feet would work wonderfully, uh, purely because there's very little competition. But a friend of, a friend of mine, Colin, Colin does dancing, um, he doesn't do anything on YouTube, and the, the funny thing is, I, I've seen Colin on TV. And that's how I contacted him because he he does these um, 
he does jazz dance and stuff like that and I just thought I'll contact Colin because the thing is the media and stuff are quick to run people down so I'll contact some people I see on TV and stuff just to say good on you you know you're doing something different doing something new um, something interesting and we've been friends on Facebook for about a year now um, I've got to meet up with him he's a bit further south from me but very nice guy and he teaches people dancing um, yeah bizarre how that's what I love about the expat network as well is you it's so expansive depending on how how you want to do it and I meet so, so many interesting people from all walks of life and doing all sorts of things and that's why I love doing it this is why I love doing these videos um, but back on tangent do something that you want to do or want to think about or set a date and just focus on it and make it happen because I'll tell you what once you do it you'll you'll get a buzz from it you'll you'll want to do something else um, I know people have these bucket lists and things like that and I would say don't wait till you're terminally ill or something actually do something now <laughs> thanks for watching